YouTube, YouTube, what is good? It is me, it is I, Tyreezy, back again with a, another YouTube video. Um, we have Royal Guardians again today. Um, we're gonna be talking about the best healer. Uh, let me just collect my daily real quick before we get into it. Um, so honestly, I think it all really depends on how you build. If you're building the more optimal builds, which is two Fury items, which is gonna be Wizard Robe and then Ring. Um, I'll just show you guys that really quick. So the optimal build would be to go Fury uh, Wizard Robe into Ring, because this gives you increased damage and attack speed into AM or AWM into Scope into Rifle and then you can do boots if your main damage dealer is assassin you can do um crystal if your main da damage dealer is mage and then bow if your main da damage dealer is shooter and reasons why you get those is because you're going to be upgrading your main damage dealer first um and that's going to give them the most amount of damage possible to carry you throughout the um chapter whichever chapter you're on so it really depends on how you build the most optimal way is that build i showed you there and then you can also do the um blood bag with the syringe and then the same thing with the two fairy items and then um you have two items left over so you could go energy potion with a boots um crystal or a bow depending on who again your main damage dealer is um those two builds there are really some of the most optimal ones and then once you have it so your characters are all pretty good you could do uh different things like bracelet into um two wizard robes into syringe and blood bag into like awm then you can like mix it up a little bit um but f if you're starting out i would suggest you guys go um wizard robe into um the two overlord weapons and then but we're talking about healers so let me get back on track but i did that because it all depends on what you're building right so for instance i like i honestly think it's a tie between either ava or tina um the only thing with tina is i is i've never really figured out what gives you conviction says each conviction artifact acquired i looked through all of the um artifacts and i don't see any of them give you conviction so not really sure what that is but outside of that tina is still a very very good um damage dealer because she provides a significant amount of healing to a single hero and it's uh go it's going to target the hero with the lowest amount of hp percentage so you don't need to worry about oh it doesn't say what hero what if they're healing a hero that's full health no nah, it's just it's going to optimize the um or prioritize the um hero with the lowest amount of hp um again you want to stack those two furies um items because that causes you to um obviously attack faster so you're going to be having to reload more often which is going to trigger tina's heal um as well as Ava, she really synergizes very well with the Fury items because with the Fury items, she gets an additional attack speed and reload speed bonus of 15%. So off rip, if you get those two um, Fury wep or items or weapons, you're going to be at 30% um, 30 reload speed and attack speed and she heals every seven um syringe attacks and she also on top of that gives herself um fury which is going to increase her damage but we don't really care for her damage we just want her to um attack as fast as possible because the more she um attacks the faster she's going to heal your team and she's going to prioritize her two lowest um hp allies her healing is it's it's still pretty good so i wouldn't underestimate it it doesn't say a significant amount of healing but uh i did test it and her healing is quite decent 
uh so it all really depends on how you want to build your team or what items you're going to prioritize for your team um uh, another good one i would say is catherine um same deal but she has what makes her stand out a little bit more than the um other two is She's going to prioritize the lowest HP percentage as well, which we're not talking about, but she also has an increase of 30%, which is insane. So again, if you're stacking those, um, those fairy items, this is without a doubt, one of the, uh, also one of the great healers. Um, it all depends really on how you're building and who you have um, the most upgrades for you, essentially. Like if you only have her as no stars and then you have Ava with two stars, I would just go obviously with Ava because her stats are going to be higher and she's going to therefore heal a lot more. Um, and then if you evolve or you get to shoot more syringes and things of that nature. Um, so yeah, it really depends on who you have more fragments of. So you can, you know, upgrade them and get their star upgrades and stuff like that. And also your build path. Like I said, if you're going to be building fury items all the time, then I would definitely go with Ava because you can really utilize her healing to the full potential. Um, same with Catherine as well, though. The Fury items is going to help her out as well because she's going to be healing a large amount, but it's single target, but it's going to be a large amount of um, healing every time, every three shots. So she doesn't even have to um, rely on reloading. All you need to do is just have attack speed and make sure she's constantly attacking. Um, and she's going to be healing your team significantly. You can also make um, any of these healers if you wanted to. Your, uh, your, what do you call the thing when you, let's just do that really quick and then I'll just come out. I forgot the, the term they use, um, the captain, there you go. I'm, I'm slow, sorry guys. So yeah, you could also make some of your healers the captain. Um, I'm not necessarily against that. Um, I may or may not get a little bit of backlash on that, but it, it's beneficial, especially if your problem is staying alive, then you sh you could um, make your um, healer the captain. So they're obviously attacking faster and they're reloading faster. So they're activating their heals way more often than they would if they weren't captains. Um, and yeah, Emma, she's she's OK. Um, She's just okay. Like you're gonna go with the overlord items as well. If you're gonna go th the two overlord items, which is the um, a AWM and then the scope, and th those both give you overlord. So you could you would be seeing the 30% um, attack speed and reload speed with Emma as well. I just don't think she heals as good as the others. And then you you have um where's this chick? Uh, uh, she doesn't even heal you, uh, Fona, but she gives a shield. Which um if you're not familiar with the uh, tanks, this guy is amazing. If you can just constantly shield him with her. They synergize very well and, and as well with uh, Kaka Pig, but he is, in my opinion, kind of dog shit. But shield effects give you 20 plus um, percent. So you see how they synergize together because she is constantly giving shields. <clears throat> and her shield um, effect is 30 percent. So you combine her 30 percent with uh, Kaka Pig's. 20% then you have a 50% efficiency of shield effect so you see what I'm saying it's 
the uh healers are going to be really based off how you're running your team as well it's not just a one pick one healer and just dominate the entire game unless it's uh freya because she is s tier and she's just going to carry regardless sorry i had to sip my water there and the reason why freya is godlike is because she literally has the ability of all of these <laughs> um healers and combined into one she gives everyone shield she heals everyone that has a shield on her and she does a massive amount of damage um and, and yeah that's pretty much it for the video I, hopefully i was able to help you guys out um again the three best healers in my opinion are going to be tina uh, ava and then Catherine. And then Emma and Fona would probably just be like B tier, C tier, depending on how you're running. But I I've seen people make it work with them as well. So don't stray away from them. It's all really depends on how you're going to utilize the healers and how you build and things of that nature. But um, yeah, hopefully it was uh, uh, able to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button for a brother. And I'm out. Peace.